Hey everybody, it's Emily and this is Emmy Lou Arts and today I am finishing up the last couple of days of February in my journal. Um, it's kind of a long one since I'm doing three days all at one time because I've just been a little bit busy around here. <laughs> so uh, get out your stuff, get out all your stuff, your planners, your journals, whatever, and let's just do it. So this journaling is going to be my squirrel brain in full effect. We are just jumping here, there, and everywhere. And uh, as you know, I like to put in the washi days of the week because my pages get so crazy that I never know what day it is. Um, so I tried putting in the day of the week and I put in the wrong day of the week. <laughs> so now I'm putting in that it's Thursday because that's the correct one. <laughs> oh, there's Addie waving. She was downstairs. Um, doing some art with me too so um, in her journals so <laughs> um, I am using washi tape that you guys have sent me like fun samples um, they're just the best and um, this heart washi I wish I could remember now everything gets mixed up and I don't know exactly who sent it to me that makes me feel like such an ass I'm so sorry um, but I love it. I absolutely love it, especially in light of everything lately. Um, and then this uh, little tag came from a set of um, die cuts. Uh, was it die cuts? Yeah, that's that um, I was sent. And they're so pretty. I can't remember the collection. So basically, I'm pretty much worthless. Like, why am I even here? Oh, my goodness. Can I remember the name of it? I don't know. But it's a really pretty heart. And I wanted to put that in there. Uh, and then on Friday, the kids did not have school. And I was watching, um, well, two of their friends, um, who are the kids of one of my friends. <laughs> I was watching her kids on that day, too. So um, they were at the house, and we were doing lots of fun stuff, um, doing that, like, bead fusible stuff and, oh, Lord, drawing and painting and I don't know, at one point the boys were just hurling their dirty socks at each other. So I don't know. It was mayhem, but uh, it was fun. <laughs> so um, on Saturday, I am drawing this alarm clock uh, because I had put in my planner that I really wanted to sleep in on Saturday. <laughs> really wanted to sleep in. Um, but that did not happen. Um, my kids like to come in and uh, basically... They call it snuggling, and I call it an all-out war, basically, on top of my body. So um, the sleeping in got curtailed. Michael works usually um, half days on, like, three out of four Saturdays. So he's not there, you know. Um, he had left for work. Um, and basically, they just piled on. And they're pretty much my alarm clock. So I took this overhead shot of the mayhem that I thought was kind of funny. Um, and then I'm just doing that fun, like fluorescent colored alarm clock. I thought it was super cute. I was looking at, um, I was looking at a sticker when I drew it, um, because I had a sticker of an alarm clock, but the alarm clock sticker said nap time and it definitely wasn't nap time. So I made it say, wake up. <laughs> Um, so anyway, I used, let's see, colored pencils. I used my mild liners and I used the Pigma Microns to, um, color in that cute little alarm clock. And I love it. I don't know why. Um, and then I had that, put that sticker in that says, I didn't plan for this. <laughs> and then one that says, fa la 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 love. And then that little girl with the blue hair, she's just kind of staring at the alarm clock. And then the cute smiley flowers. And then the two little, um... Oh, what are they? Dim sums? Sushi rolls? I don't know what they are, but they were from the um, Sugar and Sloth monthly subscription box kit of the Tiny Tokyo. And so I put those in there because they reminded me of Henry and Addie, and they were so cute. Um, I just got notification that I think the next box is shipping, so go oh, color me excited. And um, then I was just journaling um, that I was, you know, about trying to sleep in. But then, oh, you guys, like usually Fatty starts his meowing at like 4 a.m. because he wants fresh kernels on his already full bowl of food. So I get up and go do that. 
And then um, at like 8.30 on the dot, he'll start meowing for his um, his insulin shot. He knows what time he gets it usually, and he just starts crying for it. It's the only cat that like will remind you that it's time to have his medicine. Add to that that now Skinny is eating this special wet food, uh, and so he cries for that at about 8.15. Uh, he just stands and looks at me and cries for his wet food and then stares at me and waits some more. So all the alarm clocks are set in my house. <laughs> So anyway, which is just fine. I was using the pig and cat stickers. Um, uh, some of you have asked where all these stickers are from. A lot of them are from Amazon. A lot of them have, you guys have sent me because you're sweet as pie. So I do have the ones from Amazon linked below. Pig and cat are from Amazon. Um, so I loved that, uh, the little cat like holding up the bowl. I thought that was like pretty much just like skinny. And then this piece of collage was sent from Kristen from Ohio. She's so sweet. I finally got out to check my P.O. box. Um, it's kind of on the other side of town, so I don't get out there, like, every day or anything. And so this piece of collage just jumped out at me because I have just been struggling lately with, you know, this whole um, just put a heart on it and the things that we're doing. I just have... Oh man, it just feels so much bigger than me, you guys. And I just feel like I keep getting nudged, like keep going, keep going. We still have room to, to grow and to help people. Like we still have miles to travel, just keep going. And so I just keep praying like, you know, God, if this is your will for this to spread and for this to help more people and then it, it will be done. Just just help me keep going um, and help us all, you know, keep going and keep spreading. So that saying that prayer to me feels like that picture. It feels like just like setting it down and letting it go. You know what I mean? Uh, so I don't know that sounds really sappy and weird and... <laughs> But that's just kind of how it felt. Can you please go upstairs, Addie? I just want to finish this voiceover, please, real quick, and then I will make lunch. Please, please, please. Can you say hi? Yes, you can say hi. Hello. Okay, that was Addie. Okay, now please go upstairs, Addie. <laughs> so uh, these birds Addie drew um, when we were waiting at karate one week. Um, <laughs> I thought they were so funny looking. And with the branch, I thought they were really cute. And Thursday, it really struck me because I had to get up super early to go get a load of Girl Scout cookies to distribute to the troop. And, um, and when I went outside to my car, well, A, it was light out, which was so refreshing. And B, I heard the birds chirping. Oh my gosh. It was like such a warm welcome sound <laughs> you know when you first realize that you hear them and you haven't heard them all winter oh it was like a light at the end of the tunnel and then I put that little cup of coffee collage on there because I did go to my parents to have coffee and when I was picking up the newspaper at their house I heard the birds again too and I was just so I just loved it uh, and then, anyway, um, Addie drew this pickle corn. So I adore the pickle corn, so I had to put it in my journal. And I did get permission from her, since she was right next to me, to cut it so that it would fit on my page. And I did scan the pickle corn before I cut it. So I'm trying to figure out how I can, like, make those available to you guys. Because there was a couple other pictures that she did that were really cute. And some of you have asked if you could um, somehow have some of her uh, artwork. So this was this is an Addie original, the pickle corn. Because yeah. you know how she loves pickles and unicorns. <clears throat> so I was trying to figure out, <laughs> speak of the devil, <laughs> where she was. Um... I was trying to uh, find stickers to put on our, you know, fun day off. And these were sent to me. I don't know what brand are they. I don't know, but they're like little um, seals. Um, oh, of course, it's written in Japanese or Korean. Um, no English. San something. Made in Japan. San X. So I think those are like, um, I don't know what the 
They're like otters. Yeah, they're otters. But anyway, those were super cute. And so I was just journaling about our, um, you know, fun day. Bears that we sprint otters. with bears trying to be otters. Yep. So, uh, I'm just writing pickle corn and of course adding hearts because that's what we do around here. And then that big heart sticker um, I absolutely love. I was doing using my um, what are they? My Posca paint pens to kind of make a little design around the outside. And then just a big heart on that pickle. So, um, let's see. What else? What else did we do? My Poscas are kind of a little bit ragged since we used them on that big art project that one time. They're kind of um, dying a slow death there, but they're still usable. <clears throat> and then, let's see. This um, banner washi is um, from one of you. I thought it was so fun because, like I said, to mark the day when we hear the birds chirping. Um, and then up there, I use my mild liner and one of the Pigma Microns to write birds chirping. <laughs> um, just to commemorate the memory. Um, I'm just clinging on to the small things that, uh, that bring me joy lately. And then that pig um, and cat sticker um, with the, like, opening the window. I loved that. And then there's like a little pig playing the trumpet, which I just thought was amazing because it was like signaling spring. <laughs> so um, I love that little trotting cat down at the bottom because, um, well, first of all, I used my um, whatchamacallits, the pencils with color, colored pencils to color in the background in blue so that it would look like a sky. Um, and then some more heart washi. Uh, and then I kind of used, um, let's see, what is that pink pen? I used to have it in my pocket planner. It is the Sarasa Multi Pen. Um, and it has Sarasa Select Multi Pen. I got that from Tokyo Pen Shop. And I used to use it for my color coding in my pocket because it's the one of the ones that you can get with five inks. So would recommend that, except for don't get the super fine tip because it's very scratchy. Um, and then what else? Oh, I was sent, oh my gosh, you guys, these little, um, all of this Japanese sticker stuff from the sweetest person. Uh, her name is Toshi Toshiko um, Terry from Japan. And she wrote me a really sweet letter and she sent me the coolest stuff from Japan, you guys. And then on the letter she wrote, Dear Emi Lusan. I love that. I love it. And uh, so that was part of her package that she sent me. I just thought they were so pretty. And I was writing um, about picking up the load of cookies and then how we um, registered for the Girl Scout sleepover camp this summer because with you guys' um, help and Addie working hard and doing cookie booths, she reached her cookie goal and so she earned enough of the um, cookie dough to, to go to camp this summer. Uh, so big things, big things are happening around here um, and she was very proud of herself and I was very proud of her. So I was just writing about that. Yes, yes, yes. And I added in a rainbow sticker because why the heck not? And then we were adding some hearts on it. And uh, that's the journaling for the last couple of days. Um, if you guys are new here, um, watch the last couple of videos. And um, if you want to know what Just Put a Heart on it is about, I will link that video uh, below. And if you start to get some of your stuff, use the hashtag on Instagram, just put a heart on it so that we can share all of the motivation and inspiration with Becca in one place. Um, thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.